Hello guys, today we are going to be comparing these two softwares, 3 ds Max and Blender, in some very specific task, which in Blender is called Lattice and in 3 ds Max is called FFD. Uh, they are calling different and that's important because in 3 ds Max you have another modifier which is called Lattice, okay? But for this reason, the two is called different in both and I'm going to show you how to use them in both and which one is better at the very end, okay? So, this is 3ds Max, let's use it creating, let's say, a box, okay? Let's divide this box a couple times, okay? Something like this, that's okay, 444, okay? The tool is basically this one, FFD, you have a couple presets, then you have a box, which is a, uh, uh, which is a standard. I'm gonna show. You. This is a preset, so you have uh, three uh, three points on each edge, okay. And basically, what this guy does is kind of it allows you to control, you know, and do quick modifying here and there based on the points right okay that's it that's how it works okay and if you wanna you can delete that you can add a box and you can set up the number of points here okay and you have different points right so let's get back to uh, Okay, let's go for 444. Four, four. Let's do the same in Blender, right? So here we go. We have Blender here. Let's add a box, right? So that's the box. And let's, in Blender, we have to add a lattice object, okay? And after we add the add lattice box, uh, let's ob object we do nothing with it we go to the our box and in the modifier we go to lattice and we select our lattice object okay now you go to your lattice object okay and make it l and make it covers the shape of your mesh more or less okay uh, let's do this Doing this, doing this, something like this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now we have our lattice here. It's not perfect, and that's a draw. That's a fall compared to max. But anyway, you can go to your lattice modifier here and change the number of your points okay and now you just need to go into your uh, edit mode in blender and then it starts to change it okay but in max i remember our object has four 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 i guess let me let me check it again yes here we go okay let's divide it a couple times to make a fair comparison okay that's it similar yeah similar. all right so now we go to our lattice and we change it we see the behavior right the behavior here is very similar okay in this edge here let me show you the behavior here is similar however you see that the mesh follows more predictable you know it extends how you expect that, that would be okay in blender if you go to blender pick up the points and move around you see the points goes farther it doesn't stick with the mesh and there is nothing you can do in the terms of your lattice to tell your lattice no uh, 
it has to be sticked with there is no way here and there is no way here neither okay so the same thing happened here if you get this in the corner and move around you see that you can modify but it doesn't the mesh doesn't stick in the same distance with the vertices okay in 3d max if you take it this guy and move it you see that the mesh sticks so it's more previsible okay in 3d max it does expect exactly what you expect to do and you don't need to go to any extra steps okay you don't need to go into all the steps adding the lattice pick up the lattice uh, snapping the lattice in the object make the lattice cover the, the entire thing you don't need anything you just need to go here and kind of press any preset you have even presets uh, or you go to your box and it covers the mesh already doesn't matter which mesh is okay so in this case that's how you use the same tool in Blender and Max. But for Blender users, I'm sorry to say Max, it stands up. Okay? Max is better. Sorry, Blender users. We lost this time. See you.